know, Bill, I appreciate everything you did to help me out in my career. I hear a butt coming from you, JR. Yeah, Bill, here's the thing. Did you always have to be a complete asshole and prick? I'm the asshole and prick? I'm the one who made JYD, a black man, my baby face star in my territory. I'm also the one who put the WCW World Heavyweight title on Ron Simmons right after I took over in WCW. You tell me how I am an asshole. Oh, for fuck's sake, Bill. The fact that you made a black man your top star and that you made a black man world champion has nothing to do with you being an overbearing prick when on commentary with me in 1992 and 1993. Sounds to me like you're an ungrateful little shit, JR. Maybe you should praise me for putting over two black men as my top stars and stop crying like a little bitch because you felt I was overbearing on commentary. Bill, will you shut the fuck up and stop blowing yourself about how you and only you put over black men as your top stars? I'm having a different conversation about your micromanagement and tyrannical management style, and all you want to do is blow yourself about putting over black men. Meanwhile, you're a racist prick. I'm a racist? I put over Simmons and JYD. We get it, Bill. You found Jesus and you think you're perfect. You want to read me some scripture that helps you deal with your problematic issues you have as a flawed human being? As a matter of fact, I do. Let me go to John 16, 33. In the world you will have tribulation, but take. Oh, will you shut the fuck up? I heard what you said about the book in the territory, guys. You want to thump your Bible because it makes you feel good, but in the same breath you said fuck Mills, fuck Harper, and fuck Doc. You've turned into a rude little shit, JR. I actually said fuck Crockett and fuck Mills. So you do admit to cussing those fine Christian athletes and podcasters? You know Harper is actually a Catholic white boy from Metairie. That's a first for you. You admitted to using cuss words. I didn't admit to shit, JR. I was on Steve Austin's podcast, and he asked me about that podcast, and I gave my honest fucking opinion. Speaking of honest opinions, I have honestly wanted to tell you my opinion of you for many years. Frankly, you're an asshole, and I agree with Doc Harper and Mike when they call your booking out. You agree with who, JR? I agree with Doc Harper and Mike from Booking the Territory. They were very fair but critical of your early booking in WCW in July and August of 1992. And unlike you, those guys aren't raging fucking assholes. What the fuck ever? I don't care. The fact of the matter is, I made JYD my top star, and I put the strap on Simmons. You know, Bill, you'd be a great politician. You deflect and avoid like the best of them. Why are you bringing up politics, JR? I thought booking the territory was a politics-free zone. So you do listen to booking the territory? Fuck you, JR. Now let me finish my scripture line that your little ass should live your life by. John 16, 33 says, I don't give a shit what John 16 or 33 says. Admit that you listened to Booking the Territory and that you know what Grizzly did. You're really testing my patience now, JR. Jesus is my Lord and Savior and this conversation is over. Oh, and one more thing. Fuck Harper, fuck Mills, fuck that woke bitch Doc, and fuck Crockett too. If you like this episode, the slap dicks and slap nuts who put this together have more of these available on their Patreon page at patreon.com slash booking the territory. And if you didn't understand what I said, it's right there in front of your face.